Good everyone, welcome to Ajadi Math Class. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if this is the first time of watching our videos, please kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Now today I'll be explaining trigonometric ratios of standard angles. And um, in this video, I will focus more on these three trigonometric ratios, okay? Which is the sine A, the cos A, and also the tan A. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain to you the tricks in which you can um, possibly get this without memorizing or without drawing any triangles, okay? Now, what you just have to do is this. We are considering the trigonometric ratios for these angles, which is angle 0, angle 30, 45, 60, and angle 90. Now, the first thing we have to do is this. Just write number 0 to 4, okay? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the first thing you have to do. Secondly, you divide all by what? By 4. Okay? So 0 over 4 gives 0. 1 over 4 gives 1 over 4. 2 over 4 to the lowest time gives 1 over 2. 3 over 4, this is it. And 4 over 4 gives 1. Now for us to get the sign A, this is the method. Okay? Just divide this line by what? Find the square root of this line. So, square root of 0 is the same as 0. Square root of 1 over 4 is the same as what? Half. Okay, because the square root of 4 is 2, while the square root of 1 remains 1. Square root of half is what? 1 over root 2. So, square root of 1 remains 1. So, square root of 3 over 4, the root of 3 is um, root 3, while the root of 4 is 2. So, the square root of 1 is 1. So, that is the method getting this, okay? And um, for you also to get cos A, we just have to write in what reverse order. Write in what reverse order. And writing in reverse order, we have our 0 coming here, half coming here, this coming here, this going this, and 1 coming to this side. Okay? This has been written in reverse order. In this form, it has been changed to this form. Okay? And um, don't forget that our tan A, from the normal trigonometric ratios, it means that tan, okay, is sine over cos. Okay, so it is sine over cos. Okay, this is it here. Yeah? So this means sine 0 over 1 is 0. Half over this gives this. And this over this gives 1. This over this gives root 3. And 1 over 0 gives not divine. Okay, anytime we're having any mathematical value divided by zero is what undefined. Please kindly know that. So that is the three major um, ratios I'll be talking about. And lastly, in addition, don't forget that cut means one over time. Cut means what? One over time. Sec means one over cos. Okay, why cosec means one over sine. We can use that method. We're going to get our answer right. But using this um, for knowledge sake, um, for a, the shortcut in getting cuts is to write tan in reverse order. You can see that the tan has been written in reverse order. And um, for sec, we use one of our cuts, just like we got um, it for sine theta also. And um, for us to get cosec, we write in what? Reverse order. So in, a sh um, sum in summary, uh, what you just have to do is to write 0 to 4, divide through by 4, and then find the square root for your sine, write in reverse order for cos, and divide sine by cos. Thank you. And if you have any suggestion for videos that you would like us to shoot, kindly put it in the comment section. Please kindly help to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next video.